and Atlanta has possession. They trail by 16. Irving dishes to Jordan. Irving drives in. Shot clock at six. Shot to stop the run. And Gasol sends it back. The Atlanta shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And that one falls for Kemp. And so Kemp nails both of them. Detroit leading by 14. And it's Rose penetrating. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Well, they've really come out on fire with the killer instinct here. Absolutely torching it from beyond the arc. On the wing, Irving. All sorts of time. Count that one. Irving's got his first pass. Detroit with the ball. Rose kicks to Wade. This one for three. Another three for Detroit. Ooh, they are making some noise from downtown, guys. And they've got themselves a very nice lead to show for. The Atlanta trails by 18. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Outside, Carter. And the shot is good. Carter's got six. Third three in a row right there. Adjustment time for the defense, guys. Jordan, the pass to Howard. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Right side, Irving. From 13, here's Kemp. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How about the first quarter for him at the offensive end? He's really had the touch going. And that one falls for Kemp. Detroit with the ball. It's an 18-point game. There's Rose with the three. Another three for Detroit. That's now a dozen straight points coming off wide open three-pointers. You know what it looks like to me out there, guys? I mean, it looks like All-Star Weekend out there. We know how much defense is played there. It's actually defense during the All-Star Weekend, no deep. The feed to Irving, kicks it to Kemp. Back to Irving. One second left. Good, he hits the jump shot. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? Big boost from their bench there, guys, in that first quarter. They did a nice job coming in and really giving this team a lift. Yeah, it's a nice attribute to have. Firepower coming off the pine early. That's good stuff. All out there with Kobe. Then there's Chris Bosh. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's Griffin in at the four spot. They're the group Detroit will start the second with. Boy, the pass there floated up to the precise spot where it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish, huh? He powers it through. Sure didn't waste any time there. I'll tell you what, that is going to be an alley-oop we'll see on the highlight reel the next few days. Four on three break. Here's Coke. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, 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 oh. It's not possible what we just saw. Clark, is that possible? <laughs> not is probable, it? but it is possible, partner. It, it's it possible. Is possible. Not Holy probable, it, it is possible. I don't know what all that meant, but you're right, Clark. Pass to Irving. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Pass to Pat. Five on the clock. Here's Howard. Misses off the right eye. He's one guy the defense is not afraid to leave open from that range, and for obvious reasons. Took him no time at all on that one. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Atlanta calls timeout. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and... Let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and 
refocus. And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. Wilkins with a screen on Kobe. Wilkins kicks to DeRozan. Off target from three-point range. Here's Bosch. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. The Atlanta shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. The first free throw is good. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Jordan, he's checked in for Duckworth. LeBron comes in for Blake Griffin. Irving's checked in for Tamar DeRozan. And it's Green in for Wilkins. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Pat's checked in for Atlanta. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Launches a three. Walls shot is off. Now James. James right side. Green with the ball. Gay picks him up defensively. Green kicks to Irving. Six on the shot clock. This is his first free throw of the game. And that one falls for Irving. Hitting your free throws is a good way to get back into it. It stops the clock and extends the game. I mean, you want to take advantage of that situation. And they're shooting much better from the line here in the second quarter. So far, they haven't missed one. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Howard's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Kemp comes in for James. And it's Jordan in for Green. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. And that sends Michael Jordan to the free throw line. It's on Chris Bosh. Paul George is checked in for Rudy Gay. You know, one of the assets on a roster a coach always wants to have is a lockdown perimeter defender. And there are quite a few of those guys out there across the league. Perhaps the best one, in my opinion, is um, Tony Allen in Memphis. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. Well, Clark, as you said, for a coach to have someone that can make life difficult for a perimeter threat is one of the best tools they can have in their arsenal. No doubt. I mean, there's no hand checking anymore, so you have to have a, a really talented, quick, athletic perimeter defender just to stay in front of some of these dynamic offensive weapons that we see in the NBA today. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scope. Now here's Jordan following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Jordan, the pass to Pat. He feeds it to Howard. Here's Pat, defended by George, off target at the rim. Detroit leading by 21. And that one is stuffed right through. Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. Here's Pat. He dishes it to Jordan. Kemp kicks to Jordan. Kemp passes to Pat. Out of bounds, Detroit takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. A different look here for Detroit. Jefferson comes in for Blake Griffin. And Damian Lillard subbed in for John Wall. Dishes it to Bryant. Back to Lillard. And George kicks to Lillard. Three-pointer. And the basket good. Lillard's got 13 points. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Here's Pat. Outside Jordan. Pass to Pat. Back to Jordan. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Lock at six. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Great touch on the 16-footer. Pat's got his second bucket. They're making this a runaway. Now, the only question now is how big will this lead eventually become? I mean, this is a blowout. A nice shot by George. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They have really shot the ball well here today so far. Yeah, and it's all about 
quality shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient on offense. Now here's Jordan Kemp. And it's good assisting on the play was Jordan. Kemp's got nine. That lead pass allowed him to get straight to the hoop without losing any momentum. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. A uh, different look here for Detroit. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Bosch. Carter comes in for George. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Kobe. Here is Kemp. Nine points in the game so far. Back to Jordan. Outside Irving. Shot from free throw range. No good. And it's Detroit the other way. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Howard with a screen on Wade and stolen by Lillard. Jumps up. Coast to coast. Dunk. They're scoring well here. Really executing and building on this lead. Gradually adding to the lead. I like it. I mean, they continue to work well offensively. They should be in good shape going forward. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. It's astonishing to see a player, Clark, at his position who can get to the rim like that. Yeah, he goes very vertical on you, Kevin. And once he's up there, you know he's going to throw it down hard. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. Feeds to Irving. Jordan against Wade. Jordan, he's open. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. That's one he knows he should have made. Got a piece of it. Irving with the steal. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Well, his ability to disrupt passes and you know, get a hand on the ball, force a turnover, make a steal, it's been really impressive. When he defends you, he basically forces you to play perfect. Any lapse of concentration, and he'll pick your pocket. Detroit with the ball. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. We've got Irving. Howard is out there with Sean Kemp. Then it's Jordan, and it's back in at the point. So it's Atlanta now. He kicks it to Howard. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. There's the dish to Kemp. Down to five on the shot clock. Nice D from Griffin. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area on the glass that's played a big role in this game. Yeah, they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. Here's Pat. Paul George making his last shot. Pat passes to Irving. Here's Pat. Covered by Lillard. Kemp with the bucket. Kemp's got 11 points. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. And Lillard kicks to Bryant. Kept alive. Goes back up. And that one's good. Griffin. Griffin's got his second basket of the game. And their offense is flowing. It's clicking right now at the beginning of the second half. They've made three of their first four attempts. Pack. Detroit with the rebound. Say the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. 
Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that. One. Yeah, you got to rise and Sus levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, <laughs> levitate. Know, man, and glide. Something. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. Here's Pat. Following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Good on the shot. The defenders have to be aware. They cannot allow him that position before he catches the ball. You're exactly right, Steve. That is his domain. Now here's Griffin. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Shoots from eight. Almost, but it rolls out. Boy, he had a good look at that one. You hate to miss that shot. Oh, and there's the alley-oop, and George with the stuff. That's the epitome of teamwork right there, Kevin, on the alley-oop. Clark, what about the finish bringing it down with some thunder? Yeah, lightning, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, the pass was even better. I mean, he put it on an absolute platter for him. Here's Jordan, Paul George, making his last shot. Let's it fly from 18. Kemp with the bucket. Kemp's got 13 points. And so it's Detroit with the ball. It's George on the wing, covered by Irving. George with the bucket. Well, there you go. Uh, if you're going to continue to give up open jump shots, uh, you're not going to get back into this game. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside Jordan. Right side, Jordan. Six to shoot. Detroit with the rebound. George has got his third rebound on the night. And Steve, not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the board is huge, too. Yeah, well-deserved. I mean, they have worked their tails off on the glass. Boy, they've looked good in the open floor today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Well, they've been doing the right thing, Steve. Anytime they've had numbers, they've gone straight up court with it right away. Boom. Very productive game for him, but he's going to have to get some help from his teammates if they're going to win. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Nasty. Absolutely filthy. And the building is stunned, partner. He dug deep into his bag of tricks there. I hope he keeps that one handy. I want to see that again. Here's Pat. Six points for him. Campus green on Lillard. Pat passes to Jordan. Here's Pat. Puts up a three. Jordan can't get that one to fall. And now running up the court, Lillard pushing it up. George with no one around. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Well, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Yeah, this team is really looking to get out and run. Pat. Rebound, Detroit. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, at least as I look at it. And the shooting percentage continues to climb. Guys here in the second half, they're on fire. Steve, I like the collective focus since halftime. Good team basketball resulting in high-quality shots. Here's Pack. The pass to Howard. Fifty-eight seconds left in the third quarter. Kicks it to Kemp. And that one's good. Kemp's got eight here in the quarter. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. Detroit with the ball. Lillard outside. Good on the triple. Lillard's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Detroit. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. The feed to Jordan. Howard kicks to Jordan. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got five points so far. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Bryant has the open look. And another three for Detroit. It seems like they've given up far too many points from the three-point shot today. A lot of open looks out there. I agree, Steve. The defensive rotations have been abysmal. Here's Pack. 
He's got six. Here's Jordan. Jordan with another miss. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. I'm glad they're going to the replay on that one. I mean, make sure it's the right call, even if it's a play that might not end up being a big factor. I agree, Clark. I mean, it was a very limited system when it was introduced, but the league continued to tweak it, and they've been doing whatever they can to, to help the referees, and just like putting the light strips on the backboard so they can see when the buzzer sounds, not just hear it. And they've seen enough. The basket will not count. The quarter has come to an end before the shot. Still important to have a second look at it, Kevin. I mean, the technology's available, so you might as well use it. Absolutely. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's Detroit running away with this one. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, this had to be the choice. It was an absolutely sensational feat, putting it way up there above the rim so that only his teammate could catch it. And not only does he do it, but he powers it down from there. Yeah, the, the timing of these plays are just phenomenal. No question. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Detroit. Rudy Gay is out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Marcus Gasol. And it's weighed in at the two spot. Marcus Gasol picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Detroit on D. DeRozan with it. Just five on the clock. It's Wilkins on the win. Let's it go. Not enough on that one as it misses. Gay kicks to Rose. Good. Down Rose has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Detroit. You know, one aspect of their play today that's really been tight and, and far superior is their passing. Agreed. And, uh, you look at the points. I mean, they're getting a lot of baskets off of assists, so the offense really clicking here. Sheer, unadulterated power right there. I mean, he ripped it down with both hands. Absolutely. Steve, a resounding dunk. Yeah, a take-no-chances slam, guys. Drexler, no good. Now Detroit moving it up. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. He had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Now here's Rhodes. Releases. And Detroit again with the bucket. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. Here's Drexler. And he banks in the lane. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Now here's Gay. And another three for Detroit. And the threes continue to go down at that end with almost nothing happening from deep at the other. But the way to turn that around is defensively by stopping their outside shot, not by getting into a shootout. Trexler drives in, and it's good. Pop through contact, hits the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. All the points these defenders are allowing inside is inexcusable. That's five baskets in a row, and they've all been practically lay-ins. Yeah, they've got to harden and toughen up down there, guys. Now here's Rose. Gay, that's a two-pointer. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Gay's got five points in the quarter. Boy, such... Outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Here's Wilkins. Excellent D from Wade. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Rose, no good. 
Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. And finished off by DeRozan. Solid, solid work on the back end of that play. Yeah, finished hard with two hands on the stuff. Nothing extravagant about it, but there didn't need to be. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Detroit. Man, they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball movement. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Now here's Wilkins. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Chris Bosh has checked in for Detroit. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Here's Wilkins. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. That's on Dwayne Wade. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. Both good from the line that time. Here's Rose. Right side Rose. Inside to Gasol. It's deflected. Griffin with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Here's DeRozan. Sinks that one from the post. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Shot on the wing, and it's Wade. That time on the assist by Rhodes. Seven points for Dwayne Wade. Here's Wilkins. Pass to Drexler. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Bosch has got three rebounds so far in the game. Such a wide open look. He's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for Detroit. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. I'm not sure what he was thinking about there. That's a, that's a strange foul. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he just wanted to take a break for a minute. Vince Carter, he's checked in for Detroit. Now here's Jordan. And he hammers that one down. Right in the face of Marcus Hall. Now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. Oh, I don't remember on. ever seeing a dunk like that in a game. I certainly can't remember the last time I saw oh, one. Oh, man, that was just amazing. Outside Carter, and another three for Detroit. Back to back threes for him. The defense is slacking off a little. It does look like their energy is lacking at this point. Oh, and he's going up for the alley-oop here. And slam dunk by Jordan. Excellent communication between teammates on the alley-oop there. And that's what you need to pull that off. Well, both ends of that play, just fantastic. Well, that's a wrap, fellas. <laughs> no way you come back in this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. 133 left here in the fourth quarter. Outside Kemp. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. They get a hand on it, and as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, dominating performance for Detroit. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just, uh, at times, Clark, it seemed toying with them. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin. Yeah. Quite honestly, they were able to do more or less, whatever they wanted to do. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Lillard. He was extremely efficient offensively, getting looks, knocking down big shots all game long. Carter, that's good. I love the flow that they've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Well, and that lead they have just continues to grow and grow. Now, here is Irving. Amazing hops exploding to the bucket. Kevin, you don't expect to see that coming from the point guard position. No oh, way. Boy, can he elevate at that size. That's impressive. And it's Carter penetrating. Steps back and fires. Defense is foul. Chris Bosch. That's his third personal foul. Really an extraordinary game for Sean Kemp. He's got 17 points and the one steal. We are seeing him at his very best today. So much fun to watch. And you know when he's at his best, it's amazing the things he can do. And the first one drops. Detroit making a switch here. 
Wade's checked in. And so Kent nails both of them. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth. Rose attacking, passes it to Gasol. Makes it off the glass. Here's Pat. Probably time to, to just say it, guys. This game is over. I think you're right on target there. We've got 22 seconds Defense left to play foul. in the final quarter. And the foul on Derek Rose. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here comes Carter. Rose dishes to Carter. From deep three-point range, and it's Carter again missing. Boy, that was way behind the line. Now, he can make that at times. He certainly is one of the guys that can actually do it from there. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard.